Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War with me, your host, Lucky Marine. Just adjust myself so I can hear myself in my own ears. There we go, done. Okay, so. <clears throat> What's next? So I've got about uh, between 2,700. This is a captured message and this is just a report from our own people. So between 2,700 and 3,600, number between them is probably the number that they received. So they're back up to about 85,000. We have Brandy Station to do a little bit of damage before we take them into Gettysburg. Hopefully we can bring this down by 5,000. If, if we can get to Gettysburg and only face 80,000, I'll be fairly happy with that. So, I believe Brandy Station I don't think you use your own troops in Brandy Station. Fairly certain. No, you don't. So. What? There's nothing to do with our cause. Um, just quickly go back to camp. So what's the rewards for this? Essentially, it's if we win, it's rewards for, for doing nothing. Uh, we're not expending any troops. So it's going to be 2,500 men for free. <clears throat> How much reputation? Eight. Yeah, we've got space for it. Okay, let's start. I swapped my uh, my cup of tea for a cup of coffee this morning. Interestingly enough, or or as not as the case may be, uh, about ninety percent of people are mildly allergic. To allergic even to coffee it's like if you have a coffee but then you kind of need a poo about 20 minutes later that, that's the coffee irritating your bowels found that a little bit odd no I believable because because it does happen to me but <clears throat> I doubt these men needed uh, morning coffee to have their poo lost contact with the federal cavalry moving to the south but you must keep an eye on this direction in case the Yankees attempt to encircle your men. Okay. Whoa. That was instantly thrown in. So, what have we got? It's quite a good defensive position, actually. It's on the side of a map, so they can't flank all the way around us. Chances are we're not going to get anything from this side. Um, we've already established that the best way to use horses in a, a defensive way is to just have them on the floor so we'll get these guys into these woods put them on the floor these into these woods again on the floor chew let's get you into the center yeah i know i started again without you come on yeah well come on general dylan let's have your your input. Come on. Good boy. So, Mormon, what, what do you have? I mean, none of these are our troops, so what have you got? Ooh. Fayetteville's. Cobb's Legion and Davis Legion have Fayetteville's. You have the Sharps model. I think we've moved beyond the Sharps model 55. <clears throat> You have the six pounders, they're fellow crap. Yeah, our cannons are fellow crap. The, the weapons of the cavalry are. Yeah, they're alright. Decent amount of skill to them as well, which is nice. You extra spotting, which is uh, good to see. So, Fayetteville's. I think I want to win this fight overall, but. I want as many Davis Legion and Cobb's Legion dead. It sounds weird, I know it sounds weird, but I want as many of these guys dead as possible so that I can pick up their rifles because Fayetteville's are end game gun. The more of them we can pick up, the, uh, the better. So, let's have you 
in these wards here. I will just move you around that area. You. Why do I want you? We've already established that these defensive positions <clears throat> cover bonus of 45%. It's, we probably have more cover in the field behind, cover 115%. So, I mean, you've got 20% projectile resistance. And the melee resistance and the melee bonus is nice. But if we do get meleeed, then we can always run out of this field onto defensive position and beat them off with clubs. Let's have you into these woods here. I might put... Yeah, I might put the cav on these defensive positions and have the legions in the woods and in, in good cover. Shoot, you're moving. Let's just have you move into the middle of the stockpile. I think everyone's got orders there. You're moving there, let's put you over here. And Lee, what do we do with you? I think we'll take Lee all the way around the back. Everybody moving? Yeah, pretty much. You, off your horses. You, nope, just off your horses, it. You dismount, and you dismount. And you to dismount as well. We'll grab skirmishes from you get the extra spotting range we'll push skirmishes just forward a little bit so if you are on that defensive position I should just have them in the woods here yeah there's no point you look at look at this cover bonus in these woods of 275 percent so we might as well just be in these woods Skirmishes from you as well. It's just another angle of attack. It's just another group of men to, to have knocking them out. Have you in this cover here? <clears throat> I'll do a put in front of the cannons. Cannons, what are you in? What cover have you got? 37. Alright, if we put skirmishes in front of these cannons, it means that these cannons should be protected by should be protected from small arms fire so we'll do that let's have yeah we'll put you two on the defensive positions here because there's nothing else around us if there's no cover then fair enough I'll, I'll use the defensive positions moment up and breathe up a little bit we've got two moment breathe at the front this is a bit weak in terms of cannon now let's put him down here Two facing south, three facing north. That should be alright. Robson, let's get you right to the edge of hit. Davis Legion, what are you in? 79%. Love it. Let's try and get you yeah, all the way around the back. I don't think they're going to come in from here. It, if my memory serves me correct, they come in down this road. So if we can get in the back. Allow the first wave to, to hit us <clears throat> and then swoop in for cannon and supplies, maybe. Be happy with that. In fact, chew. 
cover bonus 100%. So it just shows you the difference between some of these defensive positions, doesn't it? Cover bonus 45. In buildings, 25. It just spread out dotted between the woods. Cover bonus 100%. This might be worthwhile taking, actually. Little wooden, little picket fence, 45%. Dotted around a town fortification, 50%. Light for you. Okay. What are you in at the moment? 98. Let's, let's just put you in there. Because <clears throat> on this defensive position, you've got men over here, but you have men down here, and you have men here. I don't know where they face when they're on this kind of defensive position, is it just they face everywhere? I know, but yeah, instantly 100%. A little bit better than what we uh, we could achieve. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do, pig. What are you in? 100%. And now we just wait, I think. Let's get you in these woods. Works in the woods and then all the way out to this edge. I seem to remember that we get surrounded. Very, yeah, okay. Very quickly. Oh, wow. Ready? Hmm. How fortuitous. Nope. Halt. Turn around. Do not behave like skirmishers. You wait us. Ooh. Okay. Let's go. Well, that's not what I wanted. Always, always have a look. Um, always be wary of where your men are. I thought they'd come down this road, but they didn't. They just came off the top of the map. Fair enough. Got caught out, caught out a little bit there. <clears throat> Get back in there, weirdos. Can we route beyond these? Actually, we're the one winning here, aren't we? Are we? Are we not? I think they're... Yeah, they're flashing. We're flashing a little bit as well, though. Yeah, let's just get ourselves away. We can always come back. Nope, turn and face on fire whilst they're in the river, please. Now run away. You get back where you were. <clears throat> right, so we know there's there's cannons in here. We're also under supplies in here. Um, we'll allow a little bit of time to pass, just so that they uh, they move on a little bit, so that hopefully the cannons and the supplies are left vulnerable. Have you just that? Try to drag them into Davis's Legion. In fact, Robertson, you move up as well. Let's hold them here. Let's try not to uh, just give them a free pass around into these woods. Excellent work. 
You take the position of the skirmishers. Skirmishers, you just fall back a little bit. I'll bring the skirmishers into a more central area. Just so that they can react to where they're needed. Oh, wow. Well, you're hidden. You're hidden. You're hidden, you're still hidden, now you're not. Go and mess them up. Nope, you stay on that point. Munford, you take that place. And fall back into the woods. No, fall back into the woods. Right, so we're back into 100% cover. We'll wait for them to fire, and then we'll go and hit them again. So many cannons. Go. We'll send Munford out as well, but they'll get the first shot in. Then pull away, and then Munford will get the second shot. Well, that was poor. Hmm, should have pulled you back. That was, that was. Not good. I'll try to get you side into the side of these cannons. I'll try to turn them away. You. If Martin turns its flank, then it should be a route. Oh wow, okay. Not far of that. And yeah, fall back. And you take out Martin. <clears throat> How was Nathalie supply? Keep on mind. Let's take at least one cannon out of the game. I mean, they're out in the open. We're in cover. What are you and why are you there? Both of you fire into it. Hmm. Only two deaths. How about you? Eleven deaths, thirteen kills. Did we just take fire there? We might have done. That's 59. I didn't take note of what we uh, we had before. <clears throat> you turn a face. That cow. You keep this up. Supply surrendered. Excellent. Let's just get them off to a corner of the map. And you can back Muffled as well. The shots on Martin, if we can. 
I think this is alright actually. I don't mind them trying to pick us off whilst we're in good cover. We're not doing enough damage to these. gonna get canistered in the face there. <clears throat> Ames is away. How many men did he start with if he's down to 2,487? Probably 3,000 odd. We'll try and wrap up the cannons that we know are, or were down here. Yep, on your horses. I think both of you need to go. Getting sandwiched there a little bit. No one needs the sandwich. I'd like to do more damage to that uh, artillery unit that was here. I think we we took him from 600 down to 482. Not good enough in my opinion. Get you on the floor and you on the floor. Instant route because we hit them from behind. Do we, do we just melee them to death? We might get sent away here if the skirmishers get shots on us. Um, yeah, move off that. Move off that position. Try to interrupt these skirmishers. Let's have you two move in a little further forward. <clears throat> oh, let's push you forward. So I split a cannon off from its support and uh, and just wrapping it up in melee means that damage happens to us as well but they're not our troops. In fact none of these are our troops. The more of these that fall the better really. He's doing a good job down here. Decent job, an alright job. is here now. This unit's still not dead. Soon. Hopefully soon. We will have to hold for an hour and 25 minutes. Only. Easy. 
turn you around there and let's get you facing that way. In fact, get on that defensive point now. We have the cover, we've also dragged you well within our range. Let's push you into these woods here, get shots onto these cannons. So the two units of skirmishers that were here have now gone. <clears throat> I think he's out of range of these infantry on these palisades. But he's not out of range of the cannons. And you require ammunition apparently. We have a, a supply, but we don't have A supplies wagon. Interesting. Fire! Nope, back into them. All right, off you also. We'll just escort them. Who's this? Oh yeah, supply wagon. Ooh, we do have a supply wagon, don't we? All right, let's see if we can sneak it into the middle. Hopefully these guys roll themselves forward into the river and get good shots into their flank. I don't know where that cap was gone. Fire. Right, you fired. Time to go and make their life a bit of misery. that they are dead. Uh, no, you're turning to face now. Let's go back to the woods. <clears throat> nope. Get in the woods. It's good cover. It's better than running out into the open, you fools. Get on your horses. Oh, let's go. Let's go and you on your horses. And around the back. We might be able to wrap up both of these cannons with both units of okay. cav. Interesting. do without letting them into cover. <laughs> okay, you move as well. Get you into this cover here, try to get you out of sight. you back down this way
you can fire at any time you want. Secured at Brandy Station. How the fuck did the Union secure Brandy Station? Can someone riddle me that one? How's how has this been secured by the Union? Right, you go back. So we've we've meleeed the cannon into the woods. So even if we do get fired upon by these two units, at least we're going to be in decent cover. I'm waiting for Ames to move off down here, and then we'll put Lee and Robertson onto Heaton and Graham, respectively. How the hell did they take this? No idea. You now into the side of Russell. Let's try to turn him away. <clears throat> Thankfully, we halted him just before he got into any real cover. You to the edge of them woods. You to the north. Is starting to move. And you're back into a little bit of going. has been spotted. I'm surprised that they didn't turn around and try and snaffle us then. Hmm. <clears throat> right, right off site now. back on your horses. I want to react to this. That's quite a few of them. Are you still going? Racking up the kills ever so slightly. Okay, break cover. Go. Uh, no back of the horses. It'd be. If we wrapped up one in melee, the other two would just uh, pounce. Nope. Okay, one more shot and then we'll get ourselves away, I think. Two cav working their way down here to support. I 
I don't like how <clears throat> this mounted cav behave like skirmishers. They should behave like an infantry unit. And just, if you put them somewhere, they should just stay there. Not run away. There's times when they'll be in cover. And then they'll run outside of cover. He's like, what, what are you doing? Still got a hell of a lot of cab on the field. Well, let's just get into the centre. Mumford has been wounded in action, so the efficiency is going to be quite crap. Plus the conditions are a bit pants. Still waiting to strike here. Twelve minutes to go. You bunch up that. You into this little gap here. Can we lure you away? Mm, a little bit. No. No, stop. Stop with you. No, I don't know. Are right, you far into that? You far into that as well. How have they just run straight through you? How? How is? How are you doing this? Nope, we're not finishing just yet. Wow, it's all kicking off now. Put Butler on this defensive position here. We'll put Munford just in these woods somewhere. <coughs> and who was desperate for ammunition? I don't know. We'll just put him in the centre. Use their supplies. And continue. Or we can finish whenever we want. Um, but I would like more of a mentor fall. Should be getting resupplied now. Yeah, you are. How's the rest of the map? Looks like it's finally kicking off. Now the more of our horse that fall, the more weapons we can pick up, the more of our inventory fall, the more weapons that we can pick up. So it's, so it's advantageous for us to lose as many men as we can, which is weird. I don't think it should be like that. I think that losing men that aren't yours should still have an impact on your campaign. But if it doesn't, then... Oh well. Well, 
Might be able to take both of it. Still got a decent amount of cab knocking around. In here. No, back in here you fall. I mean, I'm still going to make them work for every kill, but the more of them that fall, the more weapons we can pick up as well. Just in these woods. Let's go have a look. Nope. this cannon. I'll try to take out Bullfoot again. Alright, just get yourself away. One, two, three. There's quite a few there. Mm. We should go and put pressure on them. Attempt them back into a fight? Oh, okay, get yourself away. Why are they all collecting here? They should have hit us with this. I don't know why they haven't. I don't want the end of the fight to come along. And us not to have killed as many as we should have. Or not have as many of ours fall as what could have. Because we're just, we're just missing out on money and supplies. Defensive position. The cannons should help here. Um, let's get Davis Legion into the side as well. Nope. You back on that point. You over this way. Skirmishers. You stay there because they have magical powers of taking uh, the point from us. So we're out of the morning. Can we not 
I'll take out Greyham here. Where are you? Right. Let's go. You into better cover. Top of you too far in into Graham. Looks like he's coming back. <clears throat> oh, I've routed one of the units. Alright, into follow. You're on your horses. Let's go take out Cannon. I'm being wasteful, but as I said, the more equipment that drops here, the more money that we make, or the more equipment that we have when we don't have to buy. I let the, up the speed. <clears throat> Alright, I don't know what time this fight finishes. Can't keep that. Every single th cannon that falls here that we can pick up. I think they're about a thousand each of cannons. Um, so. That'd be nice. You get on the floor. I'm sure we can hide ourselves in these woods until they're facing the other way. Did you know we were we were outside there? I'm fairly certain we were outside. So that's them done. Okay. Take much to route them, considering the units that are that size. We should just go focus them down. Just charge them. 
Actually, you haven't got the condition to charge, have you? Uh, I just do it normally. Fall back ever so slightly. Nah, don't let them out of your sight. Continue to wrap these uh, cannons up. If they're firing at us, then they're not firing over here. Although they should be, shouldn't they? If we're trying to make stuff drop. flanks onto the infantry because the infantry are going to do the most damage to our own infantry which sounds weird but only to stay here for a lot longer I don't want them to be constantly in and out ammunition I don't think I want to spoil you actually yeah let's slow down the rate of heart firing in fact let's pull heart away ready this way go Still got aims in these woods, aimlessly wandering around. Against the side of Russell. We take some losses whilst we're uh, chasing these guys down. Here we go. Just charge in there. In fact, we should have just been really cheesy. Uh, as soon as we'd essentially won the fight, taken all of our cannons and just rolled them into aims for him to destroy, we'd end up rescuing some of them. <coughs> But in the lead up to Gettysburg, uh, it's going to give us another, what, 2,500 men overall, I think it said, for free. Plus all this equipment. If we can outfit one unit with Fayetteville's, 
I'd be fairly happy with that. I doubt we will, though. I reckon we'll get about 500 fate balls from this. I don't know. Would the upward inflection there turn it into a question? It wasn't a statement. How are you just letting horses? I wouldn't be able to do this. That's just. Oh wow. Okay. Let's continue taking these cannon out. That we can turn our attention north. Still have no idea what time this fight ends. Horses. Even you. Ah, we'll get you away. I want to try beat sloppy with these guys. Yeah, I know it's weird. <clears throat> but I want you to turn your back on the enemy. I also want our cannons not to be firing into it. Make it uber cheesy. Who's firing now? Chew, will you please stop? Also, yeah, just all of you just charge into that. That's probably the best way to waste you. Um, yeah. I'll just charge into that. I thought they'd put up more of a fight than that. When it's not volley fire, you know that the morale is below 50%. When it's just like this little spitty thing. So it's it's not really effective. There's a sound bite that sounds like a goat. Fairly certain. Uh, yeah, just sweep through there, see what you can see. Get involved in fights and all sorts. Alright, so one of our units went down. Good. You go through them as well. Can't take more down. I 
probably almost a thousand um, shops repeat rifles that have dropped with those four units, four units of horse just there. And you stood it out in the open. Want you off that position and you off that position as well. Let's get you on your horses. And let's go waste you as well. do what I hate, we'll stand in the open and allow them to fire into us whilst they're in full cover. Take Mora. These are the guys with her Fayetteville. If we got Fayetteville, I wonder what they have. I mean, it is a bit cheesy. But if the game allows it... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It is weird. So it does have an end day, or an end time. It's half past one on the 9th of June. <clears throat> Still only off 636 and we were actively trying to throw away people. Well, 636 infantry. 1800 cavalry. Yeah. Yep, break Drake. Don't care none of them were ours. Don't care none of them were ours. 237, that was it. And they were using the crap Springfield. Still, 12 pound howitzer, 30 of them, that's 30,000 on its own. On top of whatever reward we were going to get, which was... I don't know. Okay, so closer to 150 odd thousand. And 2,500 dudes for free. Trade that career point into economy. Top pound houses. Top pound houses are worth 1,042 each. Got a lot of cannons actually. I've just not been selling anything from uh, from our armory. What can we buy? The Enfield. I think I'd rather spend a little bit more. 
and get a little bit more manpower. Basically, we'll get a load more of these options after Gettysburg, I think. And yeah, we did bring them down to about 80,000. Not bad. Yeah, after Gettysburg, we'll get a fresh batch of stuff from the government that we can buy. So... I've got an order manpower. Because I think that is what we've been lacking. <clears throat> and the run up to this stage, all, all the states that I'd, I'd missed, um, I was a bit lax with using my men. Whereas, in terms of money, we're fine. Have a quick look at Gettysburg. See what we need. I don't think we need tomorrow's reinforcements, do we? Okay, we do. Yeah, we need a core in every single one of them. Although, first attack wave, second attack wave, I think that's pretty much going to be the bulk of what we're going to need. Tomorrow's reinforcements can just be third core. First attack wave is going to have to be Mostly infantry, I think. Yeah, you have to take the town here and these woods really quickly. So we can't be waiting for cannon. Uh, we may even chuck in infantry and our three units of cav. But that'll be in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. I'd be like Marina, as always, you lot have been amazing. Apologies for the cheesy nature of that last episode but if they're going to give us stuff essentially for free then we might as well take advantage of it until next time do take care